China has announced that it will ramp up its defence spending by 7%, taking it to $330 billion, citing complex security challenge at its most important political meeting of the year. Joining us now is the Dean of Global Futures and Political Analyst at Curtin University, Joe Syracuse. So what this shows is uh, China's got no intention of slowing down when it comes to its military spend, so uh, it's just going to get a whole lot bigger. Joe. Well, good morning, Pete. Well, yes, it is. But keep in mind that the Chinese are playing catch up. The Americans spent about $850 billion um, on, on defense uh, next time around. That's the bill anyway. And they're spending 7.2% increase. Uh, yes, uh, but they've been playing catch up for a long time. You know, they have a, a, a Navy that looks pretty good. Uh, they don't have any assault troops or anything like that. I mean, they're a long way from invading anybody or doing much of that. So I think, um, Pete, this is very important. I know the next piece is on Trump, but uh, the President Xi and then later on Trump, they both have, both have to deal with public opinion. It's very important for Xi to look tough on in foreign policy. Uh, he's got trouble with semiconductors. I mean, they're, they're going to slide backwards on that. And he's in increasing uh, the diplomatic corps by, 12, by about 12%. Now, he's got to explain his message around the world as well as to his own people. There are 1.4 billion people in China, and they're sliding backwards in terms of, you know, a lot of people are getting older. They're not. There's no replacement to pay for their pensions, et cetera, because of the one China policy. I think China is in a lot more trouble than anybody ever wants to imagine. But yes, they are aggressive and they, they could uh, actually stumble into something they don't want to. But mm. right now, I, I wouldn't worry about them too much. But I think uh, Xi is looking over his shoulder, as you can see all those people there. Uh, any one of them would like to take his place. So uh, I wouldn't want to trade places with him. Pete.